Hey, what's up guys? This is Steven from TechSteveHD.com, making technology easier. Now, a few videos ago, I showed you guys how to set up a Samsung 4K TV. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you some of the menus and applications. So sit back and relax, and let's get started. So today I have the MU6070 50 inch Samsung 4K TV. Let's go ahead and put it all together and then I can show you more about the menu. So I left a link for you guys who haven't seen the full setup of the 40 inch TV. The menus are exactly the same, but again, this video is about showing you the applications. So go check that out after you watch this video. The link will be in the description below, also the card above you. First thing I'm gonna show you is how to get to your main applications. There's a picture on a remote control that looks like a house. Just press that and you'll get this list at the bottom of the screen. Now you wanna arrow over until you get to the one that's labeled apps. Press okay and then it'll start loading up the app store. Now remind you previously, you have to be logged into your Samsung account at the top. Now the other video I made will show you how to do all that kind of stuff. Now at the bottom here, you have these different choices of apps. The ones that are already installed has the installed right below them. And some of these you cannot uninstall because Samsung locked it up. Now if you go down to download it, you can see the apps that I downloaded. It. And then you have these different group contents. To install the application is very simple. You find the one that you want to install. For example, let's go down and find one that's not installed. So I'll go to the weather one here and let's do uh, Bloomberg TV. Once you find it, press the center button. It'll open up and show you all the different parts of the app. Then what you wanna do is highlight where it says install. Zero to 100, now it's installed. Now here's where you can open it. You can add it to your home screen and home screen is the app that pop up on the bottom when you first hit this button. You also can rate it over here. Now there's a little button that says more. If you click on that, it gives you all the detail in which version of the app it is. So let's say if I go ahead and add to home screen, it pops up on the side and then I can move it to where I want it located. And then press OK. Let's say I want to move this app or install it. I can go to it and hit arrow down and then I can move it or I can go down to remove. Okay, to uninstall the app, you have to go all the way to the very top of the screen and go over to where it says setting. And this will show all the apps. Then you just go down and you can see all the options there. Or you can hit delete. Now one other thing about this uh, application, you see at the top here, this will show you how much unused memory you have available. So right now I have 198 megabytes left to install new apps 
and I've used 637. Now let me show you the settings menu. Press setting on the remote. Okay, first thing you have is picture. Under picture, you have your picture mode, your picture sizes, and you have expert settings. Once you press expert settings, this is where you can get to all the details, changing the color, the source, and things like that. Now, if you go back, the next menu, you have sound. This is where you can change from fiber optics, or you can also use the TV speakers. Now, since I have it in fiber optic mode, going down to a sound bar, you can't see these other features, but you can also see that you have a lot of different options and you also have expert setting. Under HD HDMI, you can change from PCM to Bitstream. You have your digital outputs. You can also turn on this uh, sound feedback. So, you can also reset it right there. You have your general. This is where you set up your network, manage systems. You can also uh, choose if uh, any net or when you plug in a, uh, like a fire TV, if you press the play button, it'll automatically switch the TV to the right input. You have your colors, and this is really used when you're using a 2.0 cable, mainly for gaming. You have DivX on demand, and you have keyboard manager, and also connection manager, so you can take this TV and you can send it to a bunch of different things that are on Wi-Fi. Eco solution is where you can have it to dim itself whenever it sees the different lights of the room. Dim automatically. You have power save mode, motion, and auto off. Under accessibility, you can have voice guidance, change it to uh, high contrast, enlarge the different items. Smart features where you have your hub updates and auto uh, Last, so it'll do your hub settings automatically. And start setup is where you can basically start off like when you first got the TV. So one of the last things I wanna show you guys is I have this uh, keyboard and mouse combo. So I'm gonna show you how you can use this TV as an internet browser. Now what you wanna do is just hit your home button at the bottom and then go over to the bottom where it says internet. Right there. Press okay. And you can use your remote as a little mouse, as you can see it moving around on the screen there. But let's go ahead and plug this in so I can get access to my keyboard and see how it looks. Now, as you can see, I can move the mouse around the screen. So as you can see, this TV is a really good value. You have the internet surfing, you can download all your applications, and on top of that, you have a 4K technology. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.